All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to play Battle.net games using your PS5 controller. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook up and let Steam boot the Battle.net launcher so we can use Steam's controller drivers, which are pretty good, actually. So to do this, we're going to need a couple of things. A, have your controller in your hand and have your... Windows system settings window open ready for Bluetooth and other devices. You can just use the search bar to look up Bluetooth and this settings window should be one of the options. Just go ahead and click on it and this will pop up. And the other thing you need to do is make sure that battle.net, if you had it running on your computer, is completely shut off and not running. Otherwise, Steam can't boot it directly and take control of it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the PlayStation 5 controller via Bluetooth. You can also just plug it into your computer using the USB-C cable that comes with it. And to get this working, we're going to press and hold the PlayStation button in the middle of the controller. The actual logo is also a button. And then there's a little pill-shaped button on the left-hand side that looks like it's surprised because there's three little lines poking up above it. That's the share button. And we're going to press and hold those both at the same time until the light on the front starts to flash rapidly. Once it does, we'll be able to click on the add Bluetooth or other devices button at the top of this window. Click on Bluetooth on this little dark pop up and then click on wireless controller. That is our PS5 controller. And then once it's all connected, it may or may not have the lights glowing on the front of the controller. Sometimes it only starts to glow when you're inside of the game. So we'll just minimize this now that that's all set up. Now we need to connect Battle.net to our Steam library, but before you do that, you can just check. But first we can check that the controller is completely connected correctly by going to Steam, going to Settings, and then once settings is open, you can go over here to the sidebar. There's a little controller button on the side. You can just scroll down and click that. And then it'll tell you up here that your controller name is either PlayStation 5 controller or whatever you named it. Uh, you can then enable or disable controller rumble. But what you want to make sure is that PlayStation controller support is fully enabled. And if for whatever reason your PlayStation controller is misbehaving, and pretending to be like a mouse and keyboard at all times, you can click on the desktop layout here and edit it. And you can try to grab a different layout from somebody here in the community to see if that will fix it for whatever purpose. Like there's even somebody who's got a Fortnite layout right here. Uh, with that in mind, we're gonna back out because we're not playing Fortnite. We're gonna be adding Battle.net. And then we want to go with our library open and again, Make sure Battle.net's closed and shut off completely. We're going to go to the top of the page, the Steam page here, next to Friends and Help, and click on Games, and then add a non-Steam game to my library. This will just open up a little pop-up that lists every program installed on your computer. Just search for Battle at the top of the screen, select Battle.net, and then add selected program. Now, if we look over here in the sidebar, Battle.net has been completely added to our library, and then we can click play to launch from here. So go ahead and do that. So once it's all nice and launched, and you can see your account and whatever game you want to play, I'm going to show you that this works using Overwatch. I uh, go ahead and launch that game. And then from here, your controller should be immediately allowing you to move around and the light on the front of it should be lit up. And then, yeah, it looks like everything works. I can scroll around. I can go check out the heroes. The only thing that is an issue is that it's going to display Xbox buttons because Steam and every other one of these drivers works by pretending that this is an Xbox controller. And you're just going to have to deal with that, unfortunately. There's no way around that. If it could display PlayStation buttons, that would mean that the game already supports PlayStation controllers on some level. But it doesn't. So that's where we're at. But yeah, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how to get a PlayStation 5 controller working for Battle.net using Steam. Hope you found this helpful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.